guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So we're here for another one of our mass making projects um, today, or our mass making workshops today. And what I thought we could do is make some fabric flips. Um, so like the fabric tippins that um, Amity Bloom does quite a lot. So I saw a video a couple of days ago with um, Gail Agostinelli and she was doing some fabric flips on like pockets and things. And I thought, actually, that's something that we haven't done in the mass making. So, um, yeah, I've got a bunch of different fabrics here. I was lucky enough to pick these up recently at a car boot sale. So perfect timing for this project. So they're mainly greens, um, just a couple of blues here, greens and browns. Um, but, yeah, I've got those. I've got some lace and things and I have got some floral trims. Uh, I've got my Fabri-Tac, which I will probably use. Obviously, you could use your sewing machine for this. Now, I might do one or two with the sewing machine, but the reason that I'm not kind of doing that is I don't want to, um, you know, disclude anyone who hasn't got a sewing machine. Um, I may also use my hot glue gun because I love using my hot glue gun, but of course, you know, you don't have to use your hot glue gun at all. So all I'm going to do is kind of layer up um, different fabrics. So I'm going to just take... A little sample of say this one so we'll just cut off you know might just cut off this kind of end here like that I should have really just unfolded this and uh, tore it down but never mind shoddy shoddy methods already and the videos only just begun so it doesn't really bode well for the rest of it does it no I do apologize <laughs> just obviously feeling very shoddy already and it's only early no it's not that early actually but um yeah it's uh it's early in the video right so i'm just going to kind of um you know tie that one up so what i'm going to do is mix a couple of different fabrics so i'll just open this one out oops well maybe i won't there we go so you don't want it too, too wide or anything. And, you know, what I thought we'd do is, or, you know, what I'm hoping I'm going to do is mix the widths and, you know, sizes of the fabrics as we go. So I'm just going to kind of like tear this across here. Again, I really like the torn edges. So, you know, for me, that's just gorgeous to have the torn edges. I might see if I can tear this. I'm not sure whether I've got enough. There we go. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to just take another fabric that will tone okay. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just that will tone, you know, pretty nicely with this. So I'm going to take this beigey, paisley type fabric, like that, and then we can just tear that down. And of course, you know, I want to have them so that they're like layered up, if you see what I mean. I want to have the other fabric showing beneath so that it's got a pretty you know pretty effect going on so like that now personally I mean I love lace as you know if you watch my channel um so of course for me the finishing touch is going to be some lace on this so I'm just going to take this one here this is a gathered lace so again just going to tear it off of the kind of like header piece like that now this is where you could obviously stitch this right across on the sewing machine, but what I'm going to do for the purposes, you know, of doing the video and like I say, trying to keep it just so it's accessible for everybody, you know, if you've not got a sewing machine. So this is Fabri-Tac, it's just in one of those Sugar Bell bottles, which are fantastic. And then I'm just going to glue down the fabrics together. Whoops, like that. Okay. Oh dear, not making a very good job of this, am I? Right, <laughs> so, and I mean, obviously mine's gone completely skew if, but I mean, that's the, the whole point here. It really doesn't matter too much. And then I'm just going to tear, uh, cut, sorry, my, my lace down. <clears throat> Again, it doesn't have to be perfectly in line or anything like that. I might just tear it off a little bit here at the bottom because it seems a bit long. So like that, and then I think to finish it off, would just be nice to finish it off with maybe like a little floral or something like that. So these are just some flower trims that I've got. 
and you know i just think they're like the finishing touch aren't they on there they look really really pretty so for those i'm just going to hot glue those down so i'll just take my hot glue oops oh my goodness that's it and we'll just put one down and then the next one oh sorry i'm just trying to see which is the right way up for this okay just because one side is slightly neater stitching than the other side oops sorry just knocked my hot glue gun on the floor hold on all right oh my gosh and again sorry about that everybody <laughs> it's gonna be one of those videos i'm afraid so yeah not a not a great start and again you know i mean if you wanted to finish it off with anything else i mean i've got here some of this um actually which i'm now thinking i'm going to peel these flowers off let's just put those there and actually i'm going to have this um oh, what's this called twine and again i mean i'm just going to use hot glue because i love using the hot glue and it's just you know that's nice and strong then i don't have to worry and think oh is it glued or not it, it is glued so yeah it's always a good one and then just going to take my flowers again and i should put those back on like that okay and then you've got just your little fabric flip there or you know fabric tipping as um, Amity Bloom calls them so I'm just going to pull something in that's kind of like a journal to show you how it would look so you would glue it kind of along there along the back pop that down and then you've got your fabric there, like a little fabric tipping. So really, really nice, aren't they? And, you know, super simple. And of course, you can use your fabric scraps and things as well, which, you know, is awesome. So just going to tear this one down. So, and again, I mean, I know it's a bit boring using the same colour, but of course, you know, because I've cut that one now, it's good to be able to use the same one. So I've just got these couple of fabric scraps. I know, they're just teeny weeny and most normal human beings would not bother keeping these but you know us being junk journalists we will keep those because <laughs> we may just want to use them in a in another project coming up soon um so i'm going to just take this so this looks quite a good sort of contrast oops this is actually in bits already which actually makes it better for cutting it down so i mean these were great i managed to pick these up like i say at a car boot sale I can't remember how much I paid for them, but they were in like bags of mixed, you know, mixed fabric real things. And um, yeah, I picked them up for, you know, hardly any money. It was, yeah, very, very cheap. And, you know, they're just so nice. And I had such a big variety of patterns. I think the lady said that she made um, children's clothes. So that's why she had all these different fabrics, you know, and in the kinds of quantities that she had them because she generally you know she made um children's not children's clothes sorry children's children's toys clothes yeah like dolls clothes and things so i just tear that one down okay so yeah like that and obviously i can just tidy the top up in a minute so actually i'm going to put it this way up like that okay so again just take my fabric tack you know you don't have to use fabric tack you can use whatever glue that you like to use with fabric i mean to be honest up until i discovered the fabric tack um i always just used either my hot glue or my um you know my normal uh anita's tacky glue and i felt you know that worked absolutely fine so you know i really don't think you need to kind of buy any special glue or anything like that so just going to cut this one down and again, I'm not sure whether this is going to be quite the right one for this, but let's just have a look and see. You know, but I mean, it's quite fun and you can just layer up all these different types, um, you know, and different looks. Now, I'm just thinking this would perhaps look good if that um, bluey colour was coffee dyed. So what I might do is do it like this with the grey flower. And then I'm just going to hot glue this down being 
yeah super lazy because this is really nice and quick but I'm thinking then just um, pop that flower down and then I could ink up the whole thing so I'm just going to pop that on there like that and then just cut the top down here okay like that Okie dokie, and then like that. Oops, I've gone very, very lopsided on that one. <laughs> okay, right. Okay, there we go. So that's another one. So let's do another one. And then of course I'll stop talking through what I'm doing because I mean, it's, you know, super simple what we're doing here. Um, I don't think probably I need to even talk you through at all anymore, but, um, yeah, I'm just kind of more talking about the patterns and the, the fabric that I'm using, really, rather than talking through the process, which, of course, is super simple. So this is a pretty fabric, isn't it? Yeah, love, love, love this fabric. So again, just kind of tear that one down. Like that. Oops. Okay. And again, just tear this one just going to tear it here across there where there's a crease I mean actually you know I haven't ironed these they don't really need ironing I was super lucky because the lady had obviously ironed them on the whole um they've probably got more screwed up since they've been in my hands to be honest than they had ever in hers so again just going to kind of cut this one down here but I think it's just um you know you can create these really interesting kind of looks just by using all the different colors and patterns you know it's a little bit like a sort of collage but with fabric so we just then go over that one like that and then just oops, pin that in like that okay so again just going to check how this looks might want to make it a bit shorter might want to even make the um you know the blue one a bit shorter to be honest but let's just have a look so we're going to just glue that one on there like that Oops. and then we're going to just glue this across here okie dokie like that and then glue that there like that and then we're just going to put some lace on there as well because the lace always looks so nice doesn't it oh how gorgeous does that look so we just take off that bit of ivory lace so I just cut that down there yeah I mean I'm not really talking through the process to be honest but um you know more the kind of nice fabrics and the coordination of the colors and things like that that you can do which you know you can just produce then so many different looks just by using all the different um you know colors and what have you so just going to stick that one down there and then we'll just trim this off here like that okay let me just trim this down here like that okay there we go and then shall we have a bit of the i think this um Oh, why can't I remember the name of this? This burlap, burlap or hessian. This looks really nice as a kind of header piece. So I'm just going to pop that across here. Like that. Okay. Just there like that. And then we'll just cut that down. Okay. And then just a little bit there. And then just here, let's just use another one of those flowers. I mean, you don't have to use the flower trims or anything. I mean, you can just put them in obviously plain. You don't have to have any other stuff going on at all. I just think the flowers are quite nice, but yeah, of course, kind of, you can alter them as you, as you feel. Perhaps we'll have a flower over this side. Uh, maybe, maybe this one doesn't need a, a flower. Actually, I had some lace here like this really skinny bit of lace. We could have that just going across. That's quite nice, isn't it? Maybe at the top. 
So I'm just going to run a little tiny bit of hot glue across there. Like that. Whoops. Okay. Like that. And then we'll just trim that down. And then you know what we could do, don't you? Yeah, you guessed it. We're going to put some bling on there. Everything's better with bling. So let's just try. Try this black, black row of bling. So like that. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Like that. And then, you know, once these are all together, I mean, like I say, you don't have to be gluing these. You could stitch these, you know, super easily. I'm just not stitching them because I don't want to, you know, disclude anyone who's not got a sewing machine. But yeah, I mean, they're not bulky, as you can see. I mean, that's got all those layers through it, but it's still not bulky. It's still very easily, easily, you know, gluable onto a page and not going to bulk your page out at all. So yeah, that's that one. Okay, let's do this one, which obviously is the same fabric, but um, we'll see if we can do a bit of a different sort of look to it, shall we? I don't know whether we can. I'm just, yeah, merely, merely speculating and hoping that we can. I've got that little bit of the blue fabric that we tore off. So I'm thinking, could we layer up like that? And then maybe actually have a bit of lace. Do you think the lace going out under it or over it? So let's just have a look. Like that. Okay. Like that. Pop that there. Oh, that's super pretty, isn't it? So, yep, let's just again go in with the fabric tack. Oh, I've got a stray flower now. Um, that's a paper flower. It's made its way out. Oh, gosh. Got just a ball of um, fabric tack that's now oh, seeping out or seep, seeped out. Let's just put that like that. And then we're just going to put down over the top. Like that. Okay, like that, and then we're just going to go all over, like that. Okay, like that, and whoops. Pop that down there, and then we can just trim up the edge. Oh, sorry, flicking things about there. Oh dear, right, there we go. And then <clears throat> just wondering whether we want to have a flower on here or we've got this one, which is paper flower. It just happened to be, you know, flopping around on the desk, flopping, floating, floating around on the desk. And um, I always think, you know, if they just happen to be floating about on the desk, it's because they're dying to be used, isn't it? So might as well use them. So we've got this one here. Oh, how pretty is that? So yeah, what I'm going to do is just run a little bit of hot glue along here, like that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Like that. And then we'll just do the white flower in here, like that. And then the grey one, like that, okay? And then we're just going to trim this off at the edge, like that. How super pretty does that look with just the flower on there? It's gorgeous, isn't it? So, I mean, a really great use for all of your scrap pieces of fabric and things. I mean, like I say, I should have probably pulled in my scraps, to be honest. It was just that I had bought these fabrics recently so they felt like they were exciting and I wanted to come along and use them. Um, but it would work, you know, super nice with fabric scraps, to be honest. So let's just pull this one out. And we will just do, again, another piece down here. So let's just tear that down like that. Okay. 
Aren't they just such pretty fabrics? I just, yeah, I couldn't believe my luck, to be honest. Um, you know, th she had really a nice selection and, um, yeah, it was just kind of sheer luck, really, that I just spotted them. I was kind of just browsing around and then just out the corner of my eye, I just kind of spotted them on the edge of her stool in a, um, you know, like a bin kind of, oh, I don't know what to describe them as, but they were in you know, plastic, um, what are those things called? You know, like the polythene bag type Ziploc, Ziploc bags. They were in those. And um, I thought, oh, aren't these, you know, brilliant fabrics, aren't they lovely? And uh, yeah, they really are very nice, aren't they? And such a gorgeous selection, I have to say. So I was really, really lucky to find these. Right, I'm just wondering whether I can actually use this one that I'd said about saving for something else. So, kind of thinking we could maybe have that one there. And then could we mix it with, got this green, which again, what a gorgeous color this is. So yeah, I hope that everybody's having a nice um, week so far. I know I say this all the time, but you know, obviously I do film these on a um, Monday generally, so yeah, for me, it's Monday today. And, um, you know, obviously to go up on the Tuesday for you guys. So obviously your week's only just begun. But I hope it's started out well anyway. Oops. Tear that down. Oops. Oh, can't tear that last piece. Not strong enough. Have to just cut through that. Right. Um, yeah, I hope that your week's all started out well. So what's the weather doing here? It's... Uh, it's okay. It's kind of muggy. So yeah, I've just got a summer dress on and um, I've not got a cardigan on or anything at the moment. So we'll see. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it pours with rain later. I think it probably is forecast to rain. But we'll see. Right, I'm thinking I could do it like this. So pop that there. So I'm going to kind of work my way down these. Actually, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to cut this across here. Like that, okay. Oh, this is going to be one of those scenarios where my piece is getting actually smaller and smaller by the second. So, until I have barely nothing, or oh, barely anything left. Okay. Yeah, I like those mix of fabrics and then Obviously, we would like some lace on there somewhere, wouldn't we? So let me just get my straggly lace that I've been using lately. Love this. Again, I managed to get this from a car boot sale, actually. I've, I had some similar lace, but this one I got from the car boot sale, and then I coffee dyed it. So it's got a really grungy, lovely sort of look to it now. And, um, yeah, it just took to the coffee dyeing so brilliantly. Right, so again, just glue this one down here and I'm just going to kind of glue this one oops a bit lower down oh gosh sorry my fabric tack is like seeping out which is not really very helpful okay I'd left it on its side to save me having to wait for it to run down the bottle whilst I'm doing a video and of course now it's you know seeping out everywhere which is you know not really ideal so let me just do the next one with my hot glue so I mean, hot glue just is always great, isn't it? So, yep. going like that. And then, again, just then take the lace and I'm just going to put that over here. Like that, okay. And then I'm just going to obviously snip down at the top where it's now very, very messy. So we just cut that across the top like that. Okay. So, yeah, I'm trying to think what I've been up to this week. So, what have we been up to? Um, went to the cinema. Ah, yes, we went to the cinema. We watched a brilliant film called Dream Horse. It's a film, um, it was filmed in Wales. But the main person was, oh gosh, that lady, um, Tony Collette, her name is. She was in the um, Knives Out film. She's a brilliant actress. I've got this funny feeling she might be Australian. Um, but yeah, don't quote me on that because I might have got that completely wrong. 
but I think she is possibly Australian. And um, yeah, I mean, she's a brilliant actress. She's very good. She kind of looks very differently in every film that she's in and she, you know, she plays really different parts and characters and things. So she was the main character, pulled off an amazingly good um, Welsh accent. And then, oh, um, it had a couple of people from Gavin and Stacey, which I know that I've talked about before on here because I love Gavin and Stacey. Had a couple of people from there in it as well. It was just a really good story, you know, like one of those heartwarming films that you leave the cinema and kind of you all go, oh, wasn't that a nice film? It was one of them. So, yeah, we went and saw that. And what else have we done I'm just using this because I want to obviously, you know, not end up with a real whole bunch of big scraps, if you see what I mean. So I'm just trying to use, you know, what I can, where I can, as much as possible. Um, yeah, so we went to see that. What else have we done? I've been to the gym a couple of times. So, yeah. My son, um, my middle son, I know I talked about him before and how he didn't really want to join the gym and then eventually he finally gave in and I dragged him there and, you know, oh, I was so thrilled because he absolutely loved it there. He has been every single day, still, still been every single day. Um, because I think when I filmed last time, at that point, he'd been every single day. But of course, it was kind of early days. Um, you know, he'd been every single day, but that was only like, I don't know, four days or something at that point. Well, he's still been, would you believe, every single day. So he's now been every single day for, you know, I don't know, nine nine days, ten days, something like that. Um, he is loving it there. So, yeah, he can't get enough of it, which is so awesome. Um, you know, really pleased for him to be doing something really positive and you know really good for him so yeah he's loving going there um yeah i've just been a couple of times to be honest so can't can't claim to be loving it quite as much as he's loving it but you know i mean i'll be honest i don't really love it at all while i'm there <laughs> but obviously you feel good afterwards don't you and you feel good knowing that you've done something that was kind of good for your body really i suppose so yeah it's a case of like force myself force myself to do that didn't go to the boot camp last week, which was a bit of a shame, but just, yeah, something came up and so I couldn't go. Um, so I've still only done the one boot camp session, so that was a bit of a shame. My sister, she's sticking with it, and so she is still still sticking with the boot camp. And I don't know whether I said this in the last video, but she'd lost a bit of weight, actually, from the, you know, since she'd been going to the boot camp. So, yeah, she's really kind of, you know, determined to kind of stick with it now. Um, yeah, so she's, she's doing that. She did hurt her knee, I have to say, last week when she went on the Thursday because she's been going twice a week. I was only ever intending on going once a week anyway. Um, but yeah, she hurt her knee actually on Thursday. So I saw her on, oh, I think it was Saturday and her knee was quite swollen. So she's not sure, you know, I think she wants to go obviously on, um, you know, this week, but she's going to have to see how her knee is because, of course, you know, if her knee's not doing too good, she's not going to be able to go. And she feels so gutted about that, you know, which of course you would, wouldn't you? If you, you know, had been losing a bit of weight and it had been really something that you were enjoying, you know, it's just typical, isn't it, that that happens. You start kind of doing something and think, oh, this is great, you know, this is for me. And then, you know, something happens and then, of course, you can't go. So, yeah, fingers crossed for her that you know, her knee kind of heals very quickly and she'll be able to go. I mean, she's wearing a brace on her knee and, um, yeah, I think she's hoping that she's going to be well enough to go on Tuesday. So we'll see. But, yeah, my next session will be Thursday all being well, providing nothing else kind of crops up in the meantime. It's always hard to kind of fit things in when they're a sort of slot, you know, slotted time, aren't they? Because, you know, with the best will in the world, you can't always do it. So, um, yeah, I just couldn't make it last week, which was a shame. But, yeah, hopefully I will get back to it this week. So, there we go. What else have we done? Do you know, I think that's pretty much it, to be honest. Done not a lot, really. Um, the weather has been 
bit a mess. It's kind of deteriorated a bit. Um, I thought our summer was kind of here a couple of weeks ago, but it seems like it's, yeah, gone again. Although, like I say, it is still very warm. So it's just, it's now warm and overcast, which is weird. Um, weird and a little bit pointless. But yeah, I mean, I guess it's it's okay. I mean, I'd probably still prefer that it's warm at least, you know, because at least you can feel like you're wearing your summer clothes, you know. Um, but we've had quite a lot of rain, actually, which, you know, nobody really likes rain, do they? Okay, there we go. What else have we been up to? Oh, I just don't know. My daughter had another sleepover with her cousin um, on Saturday. So, yep, yeah, she's still loving those. We given it a miss um, for a bit because they got to the point where they were being just hideous really together. Um, well, not hideous together, but, you know, kind of more moaning than enjoying it. So it was like, oh, she's over my side of the bed or, you know, things like that really. So um, we decided to give it a miss and then, you know, leave it to the children kind of thing to prompt it. And, you know, they actually all week were kind of saying, oh, when can we have a sleepover? When can we have a sleepover? So, yeah, it kind of seemed like it was it was the time to do it again. And, um, yeah, so she, she went to sleep at my sister's house. It was my sister's turn again. Oh, lucky her. Um, <laughs> this weekend. So, yeah, they did that. I have to say, you know, I mean, my sister and I do laugh because, you know, we kind of say... Oh, how how was it? Or, you know, oh, looking forward to tonight. And, of course, you know, when it's your turn to have the sleepover, of course, no one's looking forward to that week. But we do laugh and kind of say, but, you know, it comes with the rewards the following week when you then get the night off. So, yeah, it's all, all worth it on the week that, you know, you have peace and quiet. Not quite so worth it on the week where they sleep over because um, invariably they're then up at the crack of dawn and they are so loud. You know, I mean, actually, I'm such an old bag because, um, you know, when they stay kind of at our house, oh, they're waking up. And the last time that they stayed here, actually, a couple of weeks ago, um, it was six o'clock in the morning, 6.04 it was on the Sunday morning. And they were there shouting and shrieking, you know, like not shouting and shrieking as in falling out, but shouting and shrieking like part of their game. You know, oh, why don't you do this? Oh, uh, why don't you do that? That kind of shouting and shrieking. But of course, you know, they just do not understand whisper. And everyone else is still in bed. So I have to keep telling them off and kind of saying, look, shut up, okay? You know, your brothers are still in bed. Will you please be quiet? And, oh, you know, I think actually my sister's little boy, I think thought, oh my gosh, you know, don't want to stay at um, Tina's house again because, oh my gosh, she's such a dragon. Um, yeah, I was probably just really horrible and um, he probably just thought, oh, I don't want to ever stay there again. But, you know, what can you do? They're making all this noise and being so selfish that in the end, you know, you've got no choice but to tell them off, to be honest. So, um, yeah, maybe that's why they didn't want to do it again for, for a few weeks. Maybe he had to let that become a bit of a dim and distant memory before he could bring himself to come to my house again. Oh, dear. Because I don't think my sister is quite such an old bat as I am, you know. But, yeah. I mean, no one wants to be woken up, do they, at that sort of ridiculous time? You know, on a Sunday as well. I mean, that's just horrible. So, yeah. And the worst of it was, before they'd gone to sleep, I'd kind of warned them and said, you know, no mucking about in the morning. You do not wake up at the crack of dawn. If you do, you be quiet. You know, nobody wants to hear you shouting and shrieking and, you know. Well, and of course, then they were. So then, yeah, the telling off started. And, you know, to the point that in the end I said, right, if I hear you again, you know, you're going to have to just go in separate rooms. I'll put you in separate rooms. You know, one of you will have to go downstairs and be in, like, the living room, you know. So that did do the trick and they were then sort of quiet. But oh, they were um, not very good, that's... That's for sure. Right, I've got one of these little stamped postage stamps and I'm just wondering whether we might be able to just use one of these. Don't know. Oops. Again, kind of like, would prefer the torn sort of edges, really. Um, let's have a look. Okay, and then this one. 
Okie dokie. Let's have a look. Okay. Okay. It's, it's a little bit sort of weird shape now. I think where I tore the fabric, it's kind of like, oh gosh, made it go very misshapen. Which doesn't really look great, but never mind. Um, so I'm just wondering again if we could have like some of that torn lace, but maybe like a really skinny strip. So again, let me just see. Oh. See if I can just tear off. I mean, maybe even just something like this. You know, the more kind of irregular, the better, to be honest. Love that kind of, um, you know, torn, irregular sort of appearance. So, yeah, we'll just pop that down like that. There we go. Oh, that one's lovely. Doesn't that fabric look like velvet? It's not velvet, but it really looks like it. I don't know whether it does look like it on camera, but yeah, here in the flesh, it really does. I might have to just get a couple of other um, fabric scraps because otherwise I'm using the same old ones, which is probably quite boring to watch. So hold on. Okay, so I've got my box of fabric scraps now. So let's just get out a couple of these. And actually I could probably mix and match some of these with some of, of these, if you see what I mean. So, I mean, this is going to look lovely with with this, I think. So, let's just tear off a, a piece. Oh, there we go. And I know that I'd said last week about I'd started watching that thing called Your Honour. Haven't really got much further with that, actually. Um, I think I'm up to episode four. Maybe just finished episode four. Um, yeah, oh, really, really, really good. Really good. So yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying that. If you're looking for anything to watch, I'm watching it on Now TV. Um, because I think I said I got like a, a discount thing through to be able to get it for a pound for a couple of months. So that's how I'm watching it at the moment. I'm not sure what other channels and things it's available on. I've got this funny feeling that Now TV is like the same as I'm thinking Sky, Sky Entertainment maybe, something like that. Um, I wouldn't swear to it, but I feel like I've heard people saying that before. So, yeah, I think that's kind of the same. But, um, yeah, it's really good, really, really good. So, thoroughly enjoying watching that. But, like I say, sadly not really had much of a chance to watch it. Um, but, yes, it is very good. And that's with that Brian Cranston. I know that I said that as well, but yeah, he's the guy from Breaking Bad. If you, you know, if you didn't know who he is, who he is, he's the Breaking Bad chap. Um, really good. I'd never really seen him in anything. I don't think anyway until Breaking Bad. But weirdly enough, I did have a lovely lady make a comment saying, "Oh, what did she say? It was to do with the um, moon landing." I can't remember now what she said it was called. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. If you're watching this and it was you, um, I'm so sorry that I can't remember now what you said that that moon landing thing with Brian Cranston was. I can't remember now what you said it was called. But anyway, she really recommended it and said it was really great. So, yeah, if ever I stumble across that, I'm going to um, try and watch that. So, but yeah, I mean, like I say, I've not, not got through your honour or anything yet either. So... It'll be a while yet. <laughs> so I'm just taking like other fabric scrappy strip things. Anything and everything really that I just happen to find. So let's just put this down here. Like that. Okay and then I'm just going to go in and just glue it down like from that side. Like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to go in with this scrappy lace. And kind of glue that just running along at the top so just going to go in here like that I mean like I say you know I really like the scrappy look sorry I just just got some hot glue on my finger um I really like the scrappy look I know it's not really for everybody but yeah I think it's lovely and um yeah the scrappier the better actually so for me that just looks really scrumptious I mean actually to the point I'm not so keen on this bottom because this is not very scrappy so I might have to see if I can 
tear that down. Oh, I don't think it's tearing in the way of the fabric now. Should have done that before gluing it all together because, oh dear, well, I've marked it up a little bit. So I might just have to kind of see if I can just, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know, maybe just, oh. Oh, I'm not making a good job of this. This is not, not good. Right, let me just, let me just tear this or cut this off completely and then just kind of like rough it up, I think. So, yeah, just do it like that. Okay, that would do. Oh my goodness, could I have made any more of a hash of that, honestly. Uh, right, let's see if we can have a couple of flowers there. So, again, let's just put flower down actually I've got that one that's kind of like the edge of a flower which is quite nice or do we want it that side oh perhaps that side yeah so again just glue those down oh who saw uh, Louise Heinzel's um, fantastic video of binding the journal together if you saw my recent videos where I was part of a collaboration with um, there were six of us and it was organised by Louise Heinzel. And sorry, I'm just trimming this up because um, I didn't like the fact it was not really kind of level. Um, yeah, so she's received everybody's signatures now and she's now bound the journal. Now, I have to say, I was kind of intrigued how she was going to bind it because A, everybody's signatures were so big that, of course, it was going to be like the world's biggest journal ever. And B, um, they were very, very varied. So that's that one. Looks really super nice, doesn't it? So let's do a red one. So I just spotted this fabric in my, you know, um, fabric scraps box. So let's just cut this one down. Again, really could have done with iron in this, but you know me. I don't really, oh my goodness. I've gone against the, the grain of the fabric there. So yeah, it obviously wasn't really wanting to tear in that direction. Okay. Let's try and get this looking a little bit squarer. So, yeah. And then down here. Yeah, I should have ironed this, but you know me, I just, oh, you know, heaven forbid that I would iron anything, to be honest. Who wants to be ironing? Life's too short for ironing, isn't it? Yeah. So that's that piece. And then I'm just going to take this and just cut that down. Or tear, tear it down, perhaps I should say. That can go in here. Okay, and perhaps we'll have a bit of lace on there as well. Yeah, I mean, super fun how you can mix up all the different fabrics, isn't it? Oh, that's quite pretty. Kind of having it like layered up a bit like that with that lace kind of there just wondering whether i want to have anything else um oh dear maybe not that um let's just see just going through my little scraps bin hold on got this white let me just see whether that would look any any good well, that's very white, to be honest, on there, so it didn't look quite right either. Um, mm, mm, let's have a look. What about this polka dot? I know it's green, which is weird, but I thought that it might just complement it quite nicely. Oh, I'm not sure. That was just a step too far, wasn't it? Yeah, step too far. What about if we did this paisley one? No, no. Uh, oh, maybe actually. Yeah, maybe we'll do a bit of the paisley. Kind of needs something, I think, breaking it up, doesn't it? So let's just go in here. Like that. Okie dokie. And we'll just pin this down again. Oh, I don't know what's happened to the pin. Obviously flicked somewhere. You, you guys can probably see it. I'm obviously not able to. Okay, and then we're just going to have this, yeah, kind of like, probably cut it around here. Okay. 
Yeah, right, let's just glue this on. I've switched over to just using the hot glue now because I'm just being super lazy. So it is just so much quicker, really. And um, yeah, it's just, yeah, just anything that makes your life easy, to be honest. I'm, I'm just going for anything that makes my life easier and quicker. Okay, right. And then for the lace, I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac because, um, you know, that's going to be obviously better for not showing through on the lace. Okay. Oops, like that. Oh dear. I have to put that slightly higher. Right, and then I'm just going to trim it all down. Oh, not really making a good job of this now. Right, I'm just going to trim it all down here on the edges. Just so it's slightly better. Slightly more in line. My daughter's got her friends coming to tea today. Um, they're twins. I think I've mentioned this before. They're identical twins. Couldn't be more of a nightmare for me. I mean, I don't remember people's names or anything anyway. So identical twin, twins, just what a nightmare. I mean, the only good thing is, to be honest, they both do look the same. So I just can, you know, yeah, just call them anything and hope for the best, you know, whereas, oh, I don't know. I guess if it was two different people with two different names, you know, two, I don't mean different people, obviously they're different people, but, you know, two completely different looking people. Um, maybe that would even be worse, I'm not sure, but, yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. Needless to say, I probably just avoid using their names as much as I possibly can, you know. But, yeah, let's hope that they behave. Well, her, her and them, I mean... Not just them. I'm sure that they'll behave fine because kids tend to behave at other people's houses, don't they? But yeah, let's hope she she behaves as well. Right. Do we need this or not really? I don't know. It's like a bit wide, isn't it? I'm just going to cut that down there. Okay. So if we can just use couple of strips of this okay they look quite pretty so I mean literally I'm using total scraps here total and utter scraps so we have one like that and then this one like that okay okie dokie right just going to trim that off at, across the top. Like that. Oops, might have to just trim it down here as well. There we go. Okay, looking super pretty. Actually, I'm thinking that a bow would be really pretty on these as well. So, yeah, you can kind of like decorate them up with anything, but um, yeah, I'm thinking a little bow. So, Obviously, we've mass made the small bows before. Oh, no, this is where I find I haven't got any right beside me. And I don't want to have to switch the camera off again to go and find one. So, oh, I've got this one, but it's bright red, I know. Not really, kind of, not really the one that I was kind of hoping to find. I have got this little flower, actually. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Perhaps I'll go with that flower, so, yeah. Okay. But yeah, I mean, you could decorate them up with a pretty bow or, you know, all sorts of different things. You could put like a butterfly on there. You know, you don't even have to stick with sort of fabric-y type things. You could decorate them up with, you know, a paper butterfly or anything. You know, I think you've got multiple options that would look very pretty and very good. I mean, that's quite a pretty, pretty little addition. And you could even put things down the edges. You know, you don't have to kind of stick with just having things you know in like the obvious places you could have them like this you know down on the edge that looks super cute too so yeah really 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 sweet aren't they so I mean they're actually really fast to pull together I mean obviously we've made a whole bunch already um let's just clear things out of the way and then I'm just going to show you how they'd look again in a journal so just going to fill in these pages just kind of show you 
so that one obviously you could just glue it at the top and that's your you know cute fabric tip in there and we have got this one whoops super cute I'm not overly loving this um, burlap I feel like it's a bit too you know solid um, so I would maybe put some sort of scrap like this one on here as well but you know who knows when I come to use it it may be that it will look fine this one how gorgeous does that one look I love it and that they feel really nice to hold all of these yeah I really love the feel of all of them that one's very wonky for some reason so I'm just going to trim this up like that okay okie dokie and then oops just had a bulb pin stuck on my hand there with the hot glue um this one I mean obviously we have gone very green because a lot of my scraps were green that I'd kind of purchased the other day and we've got this one super cute I mean you could even put them sideways on if you've um not made them too long so I mean if I just trimmed that slightly it could go sideways so yeah I mean they're just really pretty aren't they this one I love this with the flowers how gorgeous is that and then we've got these two so we've got that one whoops that one really pretty and then finally we've got this one here so yeah I mean they're really lovely aren't they and you know like I say I mean they come together so 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 quickly I mean I'm not sure how long I've been filming for because I have stopped a couple of times but I mean they certainly came together you know very very quickly we've made a whole bunch of them and um yeah they're really really nice aren't they so i hope that you like them and i hope you have fun if you decide to make some and um yeah i hope you all have a fantastic week and you know that you all stay safe and everything and i will see you again tomorrow so thank you so much everyone and i will see you tomorrow thanks then bye